very happy that you made your way here again and clicked on this video and I hope you will be as excited as I am because this item which we will look at today I was very late in the game and I will give you also the reasoning why I'm late in the game this is a denim, den, denim item which we will look at sorry for that and um, I was looking at a few denim items from different brands I was looking at Louis Vuitton I was looking at Gucci and I was looking at Coach retail and outlet and I was looking Louis Vuitton, I decided I don't want to buy denim from Louis Vuitton. For me, that's why I also never bought leather from Louis Vuitton. For me, Louis Vuitton is canvas. And for Gucci, I'm eyeing one bag and that comes in the denim, denim version too. But I like the canvas version better. So I decided to omit Gucci as well. And um, I was looking, so coach and coach retail and coach outlet. And like I mentioned in my previous video where I showed you the green tote from the outlet, for me, the outlet is winning the race right now. I don't know why. I was looking for denim at the coach retail store at the coach field tote, inserting a picture. And I was looking at the tabby, also inserting a picture. But the race was worn by an outlet bag and I will take you down and show it to you and you can see I love denim that's the 25 rogue in denim and that's the patchwork which also has denim elements and I just couldn't I tried to pass by the denim trend but for me the so-called trendy bags, I really think about it, if it is trendy for me or not, or if, if, if it is falling out of trend, I will still wear it or not. So, um, like the bum bag, for example, from Louis Vuitton, I thought very, very carefully, if the bum bag is a hype for me and I'm wanting to jump on the train to be um, hip, <laughs> or um, which I don't care about to be honest but um, I figured after a few weeks of thinking hard about it that the bum bag is a bag which I will also carry when I'm 80 years old and I just love it as a bag so I decided to go for it and the denim trend is the same thing I still remember that my mom had a denim Dior bag in the 80s and I think she still has it. Unfortunately, it didn't uh, move with me. But um, so those things are, um, if you like them, you like them. And then you, it's not a trendy thing anymore. So I decided for the outlet bag. And I will show you the bag now. It came. And my husband opened it already. But I promise 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 I didn't even look at it yet because I wanted to make a true unboxing like always with you and um, this bag is so well made and when we look at it I will point out why I think it was so it's so well made and let's enough talking let's look at it together <music>
So you guys, the reason why I said this is extremely, extremely well made, even comparing it to so-called luxury brands, is that this um, leather strap, that it comes with two le leather straps, one shoulder strap, one crossbody strap, that this leather strap looks completely like the Louis Vuitton treated vachetta. It looks 100% like the treated vachetta by Louis Vuitton. And um, I was in awe when I saw this bag. I, I, sh I open this here now up. Like I said, this is definitely staying with me and will not go back. Also, how well packaged. So I just took off from the buckle. It has inside this, um, I mean, the packaging is amazing this time, I have to say. It has inside the scarf, and then it has all the wrapping and packing here. Take this out. It has even the silica packets. Then it has here a back pocket. This is microfiber lining. And it has the front pocket here, also protected with um, cardboard. And it has additionally this beautiful tassel and a hang tag. And I ordered also the denim charm. It's not here yet, but I decided to make the video as fast as this, this bag came because um, in case you guys want to buy a two, I decided to just post now the unboxing, some mod shots. And we, as soon as the charm comes, I'll show you how it looks with the charm. And we will do a what fits in this bag as well. The hardware is really nicely um, protected, like really, really well made bag. I cannot wrap my head around this. Number one, let me see how this closes. Yeah, it closes pretty easy. Number one, it's a saddlebag. Saddlebag never goes out of style. For denim, I told you how I feel about being in trend or not. And the denim with the vachetta, the treated vachetta look, and it is leather, um, is looking amazing in my opinion. And the vachetta is also what uh, made me buy the Clio bag instead of the tabby bag or the field tool. I love the look of the vachetta with the denim and then they hit the ball out of the park with the red here i will post my friend carmen's video carmen hawken she has a super successful youtube channel she is an angel and she bought the same bag and she pointed out in her video exactly the same things I'm pointing out. And I guess we have the same taste. So, and I think we do a lot. She has a lot of bags I love and um, I think vice versa. And um, she, she pointed out the same things. And um, she has actually the charm on her bag already and she used it already. So, um, go ahead, look at her channel as well. And... Um, Full leather, and I know a few people will say, "Why doesn't it, it? Why does it not have feet? This bag doesn't need feet. This is a saddle bag. For me, it doesn't need any feet. And um, I think the feet would destroy the look of this because I love the smoothness of the leather, the stitching. It's super thick and sturdy, and um, the back pocket zipper runs smooth. I always find it um, interesting when people point out smooth zippers, even for $2,000 bags. I mean, I did it in a few videos too. Um, but I, when I was re-watching videos of mine, I was thinking, what are you talking there? For 2K, a zipper should be smooth. And I expect also for this price point, 
a smooth zipper. If this is better than smooth, I mean, couldn't be better. It has a nice pocket here in the back. Let me see if my phone fits. And you guys, you guys, little, little uh, transfer here. I returned my iPhone 13 Pro. I went back to Samsung. Yeah, I went back to Samsung. It lasted for a few hours. My love for iPhone. And now please don't unsubscribe to me because you love iPhone. We can all coexist. So the phone fit fits perfectly fine here. Um, leave me a comment. Do you love the iPhone or the Samsung? And if you love the iPhone, why you love the iPhone? And um, so. Mod short with the shoulder strap and I'm in love and now we will try the crossbody strap I think I did the right thing. I really, really love the look with the vachetta. It, it, it makes the whole bag so rich and beautiful in my opinion. Crossbody, long shoulder, and you saw the short shoulder. And I love this bag. It has so much, so much detail. It is amazing. And I will show you now also how it looks with both straps on because I really love that. Um, to have both straps on the back too. I do that with my Noe BB. I will soon make a Noe BB update because I bought a strap which is to die for. It looks so amazing. I will soon make a video about that. And um, this is how it looks with both straps. And I think that looks just fine. Can wear this together. And I think, honestly, I told you which other bags were on my mind competing with this bag. It was Louis Vuitton denim, it was Gucci denim. And I think, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, this is nothing short of those two brands, nothing. And this is the outlet bag, it's not even Coach Retail. And I, I'm reiterating again, I have a few outlet bags and they are all holding up. Amazing. No flaws, no problem, no tarnishing, no pop stitches, no nothing. So I am not affiliated to Coach or to anyone else. When you hit 1K on YouTube, nothing much happens. So it's the same thing like before. But um, I recommend if you are looking for a denim bag and you cannot make up your mind really, look at this one, look, go to the outlet, look at it, order it, look at it at home, try it on. I was scared, and uh, not scared, but I was thoughtful that the leather will not be nice and I was thoughtful that it will be plasticky, that it will have a plastic feel or something like that. But it doesn't. It smells like Vachetta leather. It does smell like Vachetta leather. It still smells like the feel of fresh gra cut grass and this is also how this smells to me. It doesn't feel, smell like plastic or anything. It smells like a field of grass to me. And I was thoughtful really that the strap is not real leather or that it is um, like, um, yeah, cheap. And it is not. It's very, very rich and well made. 
and I mean you can never have enough crossbodies in my opinion I definitely know that I will wear this on 4th of July with the red cherry charm and um, yeah take a look at it highly 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 recommend from me let me know in the comments do you have denim bags maybe you have vintage denim bags i would have loved my mom's dior vintage denim bag, but um, unfortunately that's not happening so um <coughs> i'm sorry i hope you like this little unboxing and review like i said as soon as the denim charm charm comes i will take that as an opportunity to make a what fits also and um Thank you very much for watching. You can see my son put this here on the lamp. We are already ready for 4th of July. And um, I hope to see you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Please, I, am, I really would love to know what you bought from the coach drops recently, the pride drop, the summer brides drop, the denim drop. Let me know in the comments. And you can always reach out to me on Instagram, Rashmi underscore beauty around the world on Instagram too. I always leave my email address also in the description box if you have any question you don't want to put in the comment field or anything. And um, yeah, I hope I see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy and bye bye. <music>